Do you have potential? Are you a trailblazer? Do you let God lead the way? Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Woman Radio. This is episode number 203. And you can find that on our website by going to treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 203 so you can access the show notes. For those of you that are new to my show, my name is Tammy Treyer. My family and I live 100% off-grid with solar power in northern Idaho. And we share on our faith-led preparedness, homesteading, off-grid lifestyle as well as wilderness survival, autism, you name it. We share it and we have a great passion to share our knowledge and help others along their journey. So, as you heard today's topic, our potential blazing trails, and are we letting God lead the way? I am out here with my furry critters. We are all celebrating right now. There is sunshine. We have not had sunshine for the last six days. It has been very drab and very dreary. And quite honestly, I am as solar powered as my home. So you try to find things that give you joy and happiness during those gray days. Keep yourself busy and when the sun shines, you get out and that's what we're doing. I was actually looking forward to this opportunity to bring you guys along. I was hoping to get out in my snowshoes, but as you can see, my old healer up there, poor guy, he's got bad hips. So I figured I'd blaze a trail on the stuff that's melting and hit the untouched stuff on my own. But Let's talk about this. Potential. We all have potential. Do you do you see your potential? Do you tap into your potential? Or do you allow others to dictate your life? Leaving your potential, your very own potential, to kind of diminish. Let me give you an example. This was perfect example. It was uh, part of a devotional that I was reading last week. Farmer found an eagle egg and he put the eagle egg under one of his chickens and it hatched. And the eagle grew up, the eaglet grew up thinking that it was a chicken. And one day an eagle flew over and the eaglet said to the chicken, wow, what is that? And the chicken says that is the mightiest and most majestic bird out there. That's the eagle. He said, you may as well go back to eating your food because you'll never be anything like that. So, a little food for thought. How many of you are listening to the chicken? How many of you are missing out on what you're called to do? Do you realize in today's society that most of the people that are struggling are afraid to tap into their potential? We are the biggest thing that holds ourselves back from blazing a trail, stepping out of our comfort zone and even being successful. So I wanna challenge you to be the eagle and to soar rather than being stuck in the barnyard pecking at the grit and the gravel. (laughs) And you know, there's. Barnyard animals are awesome. I miss my chickens tremendously. I loved my goats. 
We, we had a horse. Everybody has personality. Those animals have personality. We have personality. And everybody has a purpose. Some of us are called to lead. Some of us are called to follow. Some of us are called to invent. The thing is, if we are too afraid of what other people will think, if we are too afraid of stepping out of our comfort zone and being willing to blaze trails or take chances, we are surely going to miss out in life and possibly miss our mark, miss our calling. You know, we are given free will. God has designed us. He knew what we were going to be before we were even formed, which is amazing. He does have amazing plans for each of us. And I want you to recognize that fear and worry and doubt and the concern of what other people will think is the enemy's attacks on our lives. When we learn to disengage from all of those, there are amazing things on the other side. The best things in life are on the other side of our comfort zone and at the end of the trail we're blazing. And you know, most of us give up and we give up, unfortunately, right before the goodness comes our way. So the thing is, we've got to have perseverance through the journey. We've got to be willing to work and put our effort forth. <clears throat> but we've got to concentrate on soaring like an eagle. And for me, there's no other way. I have disengaged from all those things. And I am focused faithfully forward. <laughs> so I want to encourage you guys to step out of your comfort zone this year, to soar, to be who you were meant to be, and to blaze trails. Now, while we're talking about this, there is one very crucial aspect to all of this as far as I'm concerned. And that is that we need to move faithfully forward. We need to seek God's direction, seek His will in our life, and let Him lead. That tends to be another problem that many of us have is that we dive forward head first on our own free will instead of knowing that we are following His will. How do you do that? You pray. You commune with Him. You talk to Him. You ask for direction. You ask for doors to open. You ask that if what you're attempting to do isn't His will, that it all crumbles so you know. Sometimes that can be hard because what we want and what he wants sometimes are very different and we have a tendency to want what we want and want it now. Waiting is hard. <laughs> the mountain man and I can tell you that firsthand, we've been experiencing four years of waiting. But we also know that God has a plan, God has been present, and in the meantime, Amazing things have been happening because we've been focusing on the good in our lives and what he, and His presence and also the doors He's been opening. Many doors have opened through our journey and keeping our eyes on the prize, our eyes on Him and our focus towards gratitude, telling you amazing, amazing things will happen. So I want to encourage you guys to really embrace 2020 without fear, without worrying what anybody else thinks. Quite honestly, the only person in my life that I care what they think is that I'm pleasing God. Because if I'm pleasing God, I know that I'm 
pleasing my husband and the rest doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. In the big scheme of things, we are not defined by other people's inability to see our worth. And that, my friends, is a great truth and, and something that you need to learn to disengage from because I know so many struggle greatly with that. It was something that I struggled greatly with. But with God's help, I've learned that He's the one I want proving my every move and my husband. They are the ones that are my cheerleaders and are the ones that I seek to please. I have to tell you too, it's a really amazing and fun place to be when you hit that place of being adventurous. I've always had that. But as I've grown in life, I was gonna say aged, <laughs> either way, with age comes growth. <laughs> but um, I've become more adventurous. I've always been like actively on the wild side, but sometimes in other things, like maybe writing my book, um, I wasn't quite as adventurous and um, confident. But the example I give you is in writing my book. <clears throat> when you are able to accomplish such things, it really accelerates you and pushes you forward in any other adventures you wish to embark on and to enjoy. So be courageous, be adventurous, and live with intention and find your potential. Don't be afraid to soar because I know God has blessed you with great potential. It's up to you to tap into it. So guys, thank you for joining me. I look forward to spending time with you in our next episode. If you are enjoying or gaining from my podcast, I would greatly appreciate it if wherever you're watching it, you give it a thumbs up or a review. It greatly helps me to reach other people. And you can find Mountain Woman Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, and TuneIn, as well as other podcast apps. So thank you greatly for joining me today. I know you've got potential. And I know you're going to blaze trails. And when you put God first, trust me, it all comes together in such, in such an amazing way. So you guys take care. Have a blessed day. And I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.